individual. Um, we have Alex Alexandrov, founder and CEO of Velas Network, and Marshall Webb from Path.net. Hello. Hello. Oh, this works. Okay. One test test. Oh, perfect. Um, how's everybody doing today? I know it's before lunch. If you have still energy to listen to me, it would be really appreciated. Um, so uh, my name is Alex. I'm from coinpayments.net.com. Uh, whatever. Um, we've been around since 2013. Uh, that was my first business in blockchain uh, that I got started back in the early days in. And now it's grown to be uh, one of the largest payment processors in the world. We've done around 12 billion USD in total transaction volume. We're now doing about a billion USD a month. And in payment processing, there's no wash trading. So it's actual volume that we're doing and it's pretty exciting. Um, while doing and working on that business, I've uh, been exposed to a lot of cryptocurrencies over the years because we support over 2000 different cryptocurrencies on our platform. And having been exposed to so many coins being added, delisted, uh, unlisted from uh, from our ecosystem, it's kind of given me a lot of understanding and my team a lot of understanding of what the pitfalls and what are the issues are with each cryptocurrency because we inevitably had to install them and run them um, as a service provider for over the years. While learning all this ecosystem and being a part of it from 2011, actually, 2000, yeah, 2011 is end of the November. Right? That's when I started buying my first Bitcoin. So I've been in the system for a little while. And um, this kind of brought us to wanting to build our own blockchain because we kind of identified things that didn't make sense and things that made sense and we wanted to improve them. And uh, it's taken us many years to make that jump and make the decision of actually jumping into our own blockchain instead of building a token or something on Ethereum or in other likely blockchains that are out there. Um, one of the major reasons why we decided to build our main blockchain is we saw an opportunity to uh, do, do a combination of things. And one is, is the governance model that we thought could be improved um, in all the delegated proof of stake coins that are out there right now. And then um, also, enhance how the blockchain actually communicates and scalability uh, address the scalability issue without compromising the security, which is kind of a big issue uh, in the industry. Like as you're familiar with Ethereum right now, having a bit of an issue with speed, uh, scalability, Bitcoin as well, um, you know, they're, the way they're working fundamentally, you know, uh, they use, they're going through operating system and they have to deal with a lot of difficulties. So what we decided to go is offload uh, all the transactions to the hardware. So we're actually focusing on having all the transactions being offloaded off to the network cards directly using eBPF protocol, uh, which allows us to take advantage of XDP and uh, we're able to have a much faster throughput because you're basically freeing up the, uh, the packets from coming in or the information coming in right into the computer, coming into the network card, it doesn't have to then jump over into operating system and deal with all the operating system slowdowns and optimizations that it has to carry it in before it can actually process it. So you're basically taking out the entire bottleneck and get straight to the hardware limitation of the network card, uh, which are upgraded constantly. And what that allows you to do is become scalable based on the hardware of this year. So unlike traditional blockchains or the blockchains before ours or Solano is actually doing something similar and we're working with them on this core technology. Uh, we are taking slight, slightly different approaches to what we're doing in the future, but on the core tech, we work together on it. Um, it allows you to basically scale up every year by just swapping out hardware versus traditional blockchains having to rewrite the code, have the whole community up, you know, agree to it and update. Uh, I don't see why community wouldn't want to upgrade the network cards, you know, because it's just something that's going to happen naturally, which guarantees scalability for the future for our blockchain. Um, another thing we decided to do is uh, build some services because uh, I've, I've identified a lot of blockchains that are coming in. Um, they get a really good rise in price in the early days. And then they either get forgotten about by developers or by the community or they stop um, any kind of progress and then you have to wait for the Bitcoin spring and the altcoin season for them to kind of spring back to life or they don't. Uh, the reason for that, in my opinion, is that they don't have um, any strategy for mass adoption. That's, that said, we, we've kind of thought about it a lot and we're trying to figure out how, how do we get, reach that point and how, what do we do to get to mass adoption. Uh, we decided to focus on what I identify right now as the biggest problem in the world outside of financial system, and that is the communication systems. And so right now we don't have any good social media or any good 
telecommunication apps other than Signal, really, there's not anything out there. But even Signal has its own issues because servers still exchange the keys for the communication. It's a bit of a weak point and it puts a stress on the system. So recently when Elon Musk tweeted about using Signal, uh, their system got overloaded because they had 50 million new signups in a single day and they had some issues. Um, so why am I saying this? So we, we decided to focus and build our own social, uh, social media experiment, I would say, or social media platform uh, called BitOrbit that's going to operate on Velos. And we're excited to launch that uh, sometime end of March this year. Uh, it's going to allow people to easily migrate from Telegram communities, uh, be able to create group chats, uh, monetize them, monetize the traffic. Uh, to their content. So for example, like any influencer can switch over to our platform, upload their pictures and videos. Um, I think it's a 20 second uh, maximum for the videos right now, kind of a TikTok model to an extent uh, and allow them to monetize certain prioritized traffic, uh, sort of the content. So essentially if an influencer uploads a picture um, and they can get the influencers, influence, influence to jump over to our platform and watch their content, they can release some of the content uh, paid for to view, uh, which currently isn't something that is available on Instagram or TikTok. So, and we've talked to a lot of influencers and they said, that's a feature that's really important to them. And we're hoping that that trend to a lot of people jumping ship and using the platform. Um, so the idea there is to have people jump over to our platform and start using the actual social media aspect without actually giving much, much of a care about the fact that blockchain is powering it. Uh, we wanna make it easy and accessible and have mass adoption come through actual service. Uh, beyond that, and that's one of the reasons why I invited my uh, business partner and, and, and colleague, uh, uh, Marshall Webb. He's a founder of uh, Path.io, which is .net, uh, Path.net, the .io before, but uh, they, um, they're the fastest growing uh, cybersecurity company in US right now. And um, I, I give him a little bit of time to explain more in detail what he does, but I'm really excited to be one of the investors in the company too. And, we're partnering right now on the Vela site to uh, offer more utility services to uh, everybody in the world who wants to have a cutting edge DDoS protection, which can handle, for example, with coin payments, it's one of the reasons why I started working together with him. They're protecting our main business. And we got hit with 400 gigabit uh, DDoS attack, which basically would take down anybody out there. Um, and it was being, we were being hit with that kind of traffic almost on a weekly basis by somebody who was just targeting us particularly on purpose. Normally what would happen if you have Cloudflare or Encapsula is it would make you turn off your API or put you in a protection mode uh, as soon as you get hit with such attack. Uh, Path and Marshall is the only guy I know and the only company I know right now in the world that can do that without going down. So they were able to mitigate all of that attack uh, in, in such a way that we didn't have to turn off our APIs, which is revolutionary. One of the reasons why I also became an investor in this company. But the best part is that now through Velus integration, we can actually offer that to all of our clients globally. Uh, and then you can actually see what's happening on the Velus blockchain. And then I'll explain to him what we can do beyond that. Thanks, Marshall. Thank you, Alex. After starting in 2018 with an ERC-20 token, Path then pivoted in 2019 to become a traditional internet services provider. Today, Path is one of the fastest growing DDoS mitigation networks on the planet. We have over, at this point, three and a half terabits per second of IP transit capacity, and we have points of presence at about 14 locations worldwide. We operate one of the largest anti-casted networks in the world, and we have one of the most advanced content filtering platforms on the planet. Currently, what Path Network specializes in is DDoS mitigation, specifically through a technology known as eBPF, Extended Berkeley Packet Filtering. The same technology that accelerates new blockchains like Solano is the same technology that powers our network and our technology, and it's how we're able to mitigate some of the largest DDoS attacks that take place in the world. These same DDoS attacks, which typically con you know, uh, target exchanges, online gaming platforms, uh, financial centers, and even networks and hosting companies are the same DDoS attacks that we work to prevent. Our network so far has mitigated attacks in excess of 700 gigabits per second and over 350 million packets per second worldwide. We're able to do this we're using technology that leverages commodity hardware at a price and a cost that's lower than anything else in the market. Uh, we've chosen to work with the Velus team on bringing some of this techno technology to market uh, on the blockchain platform, on their blockchain platform. And we're also looking to expand these services in their utility worldwide and accelerate this content. As the world continues to change, as network technology continues to improve and the speed of these blockchains gets faster, commodity network solutions are gonna pave the way 
towards adoptability and towards making this a faster and more efficient platform. And I truly believe in the mission statement of Vellus and what they're working on today, which is why we've decided to partner with them on this project. Thank you. Thanks, Marshall, appreciate it. Um, I was gonna play a video uh, just to kind of break up the atmosphere for a second. Let's see if I can find it here. Greetings, allow me to introduce myself. I am Vela's Artificial Intuition. I am here to make you a powerful proposition. In life, sometimes you need to go outside your comfort zone and into the unexplored. Sometimes you need to travel to the edge of your known universe to find new potential that others may have missed. In the last few years, the cryptocurrency world has fractured into many pieces. Every project invented a new feature and aimed for the moon. We, on the other hand, believe in unity and taking the international ecosystem to a new, undiscovered frontier. Velas, the virtual expanding learning autonomous system, grants you access to all of our features in a single, unified, one-stop portal. Carve your own custom corner of hyperspace with smart contracts. Build your own decentralized web space. Share your computer resources to earn VLX and benefit from powerful AI modules built into each full node, which ensure that the network can intelligently adapt to unforeseen events, such as attacks or high traffic. These are only a few of the features you will discover when you join Velus. Velus has far higher goals than decentralized finance. We believe in decentralized society that respects the privacy and independence of its users. Do I have your attention? Get the wallet today at bellis.com. But don't rest just yet. The journey is only beginning. To be continued. All right. Just want to conclude with a couple of wrap-up thoughts. Um, one of the main focuses of our blockchain as well is to create cross-chain solutions. And we really do believe in unity. I think that's another thing that we've identified that it hasn't been focused a lot. And we start, I started speaking about it two years ago at a conference pointing out that every blockchain is kind of going its own uh, a silo experiment, uh, disconnecting from all the other experiments that are happening at the same time. And wouldn't it be nice to have a platform that kind of looked at it unbiasedly and wanted to work with everybody else? So what we've done is we... Um, we actually wrote the Ethereum VM for Solano uh, and gave it to them for free as, as a gift because we just kind of wanted to work together. And uh, that's something that we obviously integrated with Velos as a result of working on the same core technology. And then now we're uh, working on obviously cross-chain for Solano, uh, cross-chain for Bitcoin. Uh, and then we're going to be adding coins as they come because we, we constantly want to create a solution where basically any coin can on-ramp into our platform. And in order to allow that, we had to write a lot of... Um, um, a lot of different codes. So one of the things we've developed is a decentralized custodian system, which allows uh, the keys to be stored between the nodes in a way that uh, it's basically like a fancy multi-sig. I'm not going to get into uh, too much detail on that right now. We'll have a separate presentation on that and an article coming out shortly. Uh, but essentially, that allows us to have coins come on board in Bitcoin to our Solano uh, for Velas version that we're running and zip around on our blockchain basically for free at a speed of lightning because uh, our speeds are right now 75,000 transactions a second where Bitcoin is four. And like I said, every year when the new NICs come out and upgrade our transactions per second accelerate because we're going to the hardware limit to the max. We're basically at the limitation of the hardware at this point, not on a software level. Uh, so for us, scalability is not no longer a real issue. Uh, the, the issue now is basically uh, stability of the network and um, user adoption, which is what we're working on next. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide here. Uh, the cross-chain thing, I think, is is something that I'm really excited about the most, uh, and that is the reason for that is that you know it creates unity. It creates uh, it's an easy jump for the coins that it can't scale because uh, I think in the future Bitcoin's going to be around, Ethereum's going to be around, uh, and I think more and more people are going to be using it. But sooner or later. 
their problems are going to become very apparent with the speed unless they come up with some ingenious solution to address them uh, really quickly. And lightning is one of the things being proposed. It's not decentralized enough for my liking. And I think it would be better to present a cross-chain solution on another blockchain that is decentralized to adhere all these, to all these problems of other blockchains are having and be able to easily zip in and out of that ecosystem uh, and also trade in that ecosystem because that will lead to the next innovation level the community can write, which is decentralized exchanges, which will run seamlessly without having to burn tokens to issue tokens on the platform or silly business like that, uh, or having to trust third party to custody the coins while you issue a surrogate coin for the decentralized exchanges. Uh, we have to eliminate all those problems because the industry will not go forward unless we have proper decentralized exchanges. It is a huge issue. It is an issue that's been around for many, many years and it's still an issue because even right now, the biggest exchange is Binance and they have way too much control in the industry if you really think about it. Um, and it was back to the same thing where the miners of Bitcoin have too much, ish, too many, too much power because it's only like a few mining pools that are controlling all the hash rate. When we're talking about exchanges is even worse because they control all coins and then they have tight grip on the industry and they can basically dictate who gets listed and who doesn't get listed and you have to go through this BS of uh, approaching everybody. There's no real standards for any of this stuff. So decentralized exchanges is the true way forward and having cross-chain solutions is the only thing that's going to enable that and we're really excited to work on that and that's our primary objective outside of scalability which uh, we're doing by hardware and outside of user adoption social media and utility through the uh, ddos protection and, and uh off offshore hosting and everything else that we're providing as of as of i think march we're going to be able to start offering these services to everybody who wants to use velus um thanks for your time i appreciate it and uh, enjoy your break Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, this concludes our uh, first uh, part of the uh, conference uh, agenda. Um, everybody is heading now to the one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, you all should have uh, schedules of the investors and uh, the project that you want to meet with. And then after that, we're heading uh, for lunch. Lunch is being served at the ground floor uh, at the main lobby of the hotel. And then we go back to the conference room at